time is coming to an end here in Nevada, and we will be getting on the road again as things are opening up. Before we do that, we're going to take advantage of having a place to work on things, and we're going to spruce up this baby a little bit before we head on the road, adding some color. Let's go down that road. Painting supplies. Some kills. These little paints. Little paints. And more tools and stuff. Wait, there's more. Gary's got a whole spread of tools out here. Holy buckets. What's going on? The cordless drill. Hmm. Ooh. Something's missing here. <laughs> On our door. And what's going on here? What? What? Our storage bay door. It's missing the knobs. And this one too. What's going on? Hello, faithful people. I'm Orlean. I'm Gary. And it is time to get things done here so we can get moving. We want to move back into our RV this weekend, hopefully, or very early next week, so that we can make sure everything's working, everything's in place, everything is okay before we take off again. And uh, projected date? Somewhere between the 22nd and 25th. Of May. Or 6th. 26th. <laughs> 26th. 25th is Memorial Day, so yeah. we thought, well, we better not leave that day. And the fun part of where we're going to go and everything. Because every state is different. And crossing into some states is going to be a problem. And having to avoid some states. And we don't know. We know Canada right now is off. You can hit that chicken next door. She's laying eggs. <laughs> it's not me. I'm not making that noise. <laughs> the chickens next door are laying eggs. Yeah, and they do that every day when they lay eggs. <laughs> anyway, yeah, our uh, unfortunately our plans to go to Canada to see our family there and meet our new granddaughter is off limits for now, and we don't know how long. It, this yeah could be months. But they or are more. doing well, and we're glad for that. Yeah. So we do look forward to seeing them in the future. In future and holding them. <laughs> yes. So. Let's get busy with what we're going to do today and try to get it all done today. We only have a very small window of opportunity with no wind or anything. As you can see, the front is all clean and nice and white. But all the decals are off of there. The burgundy that was here and the gold that was underneath it, that's all gone on the, all the way around. So we have just the blue. That would take a long time. The back, we were going to take all of them off, and it was just just the weather and other things were getting in there, and we just weren't able to do it. So we just left the blue on so it looked look like the rest of it. For now, eventually the blue will probably all come off as well. What's the plan for the door and the service bays? If you've been following our channel for a while, you know that I said we were going to do something fun to make it more like our home. And today's the day. I think you can see the swoosh outline where it faded. This is where the, the swoosh was. It came like this and then it went up the side. So what we've done, taken all that off, and we took off the ones that were by the windows here. There was a big gold one and a big burgundy swish here. 
And the same on the other side. That's all gone. We're not going to do anything with the white, but we are going to do something with the doors. So sanding them down first, and then what? You're going to do rubbing alcohol? Yeah. And hope the weather cooperates and it doesn't get really windy today. It's be... not supposed to come till tomorrow. We've been waiting for a still day to do this. There aren't a lot of them here. All right, let's see some progress here. Gary's got the primer on, on the bays, and the primer is on the big door. And on the other side, he's got primer on these as well. I mean, look a lot better already just with primer. Could have just done white. That'd be boring. And Gary got the back window covering off so I can paint that. We're just going to do white with that because because eventually we're going to get that logo on there. Our logo on the back. Wouldn't that be cool? I've been wanting to do that for two years. Two years. What logo is that? What logo? Gee, I don't know. <laughs> what logo is that? <laughs> But it looks yeah. pretty sharp when it's done. Yes, it would. Very. But the back gets so dirty, doing a color on there wouldn't be as good. So we'll just, we'll hopefully get something. What I want is something, if any of you know of a place to do this, what I want to do is get something that wraps around the covering, kind of like a fitted bed sheet kind of thing, but nice and tight and snug. And then it can be removed if need be and replaced when it gets old or faded. Okay, so I'm going to paint that white, that thing that it's in the garage, and Gary's gonna start doing the colors. All right, time for the unveiling. First color, ooh, Sky Rocket Red. <laughs> this is going to be so fun! And yeah, we just got the little sample sizes because we really think that we'll be able to accomplish what we're going to do. And two coats, even, with just these smaller container. We're oh. hoping. <laughs> mm -hmm. Woo! It's a little more orangey than I thought it would be, though. It was supposed to be more of a reddish orange. That looks orange orange. It may dry better. Yeah, hope so. And if it's orange, it's orange. It's still a bright, happy color. And with everything going on in the world right now, it's nice to have some happy, happy, happy. We'll spread happiness, not germs. I'm stealing a, a quote from a friend. <laughs> Thanks, Mark and Carol. <laughs> Interesting story about my painter husband is that while he was going to the seminary, he and a group of guys had a painting company. And they worked their way through through college and seminary doing painting for people's homes, inside, outside, all the stories I have heard. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm the only one that's colorblind. You were the only one that was colorblind. Yeah, but a lot of the mistakes were not, and a lot of the bloopers and a lot of the interesting stories had nothing to do with the color. <laughs> they had fun. And then you'd go and blow all the money out in stakes. <laughs> yes, pastors do drink beer. <laughs> Although Gary has a hard time with it nowadays. It gets them all stuffed up.
reflection or if it's just in the middle right there yeah you got it I still think I should put shutters on that window just paint it on and with having the aluminum siding and having the ridges already in it, it's going to cause um, shadows and whatever, and it'll look like a real shutter then. It already has the texture. So that's, a, that's what I want to do, and I want it to be that color blue. I think that would be cool. But that'll be for later when these other stripes come off someday. Color number two. How exciting. It is so exciting. Ready? Here it is. <laughs> Does it make you think of a frog? Yeah. So we have green neon is the name of this color. It is a bear product. Got it from Home Depot. And then the, the red one is called Skyrocket. And that one, you could get it at Walmart, but we got it at Home Depot because they also carry the Glidden. Sorry, Walmart. <laughs> oh, it's so fun. So fun. <laughs> oh, I am loving that. That's good. And the two colors together, oh, with the blue, I think, oh, this is amazing. What do you think, everybody? What do you think of our choices? Gary's just going to do brushing on with this because it's just easier and uh, it's not going to take that much paint, so it'd be kind of silly to put it into a tray. Yeah, and a roller takes a lot of paint. Yeah. Ooh, you got a little fancy swoosh there, almost like an artistic kind of thing there. <laughs> Want me to leave it that way? No. Oh. <laughs> Not that artistic. Uh -oh. a good bath and put a little wax on it before we take off too. This is the back panel that was on over the window on the back side of the RV and we had we had sanded it down last year. We took all the decals off of it last year and then we spray painted it white with a Rust-Oleum product, but I don't think it held up very well and it didn't keep a very good shine or anything, so we're going to use a brush on paint this time. But first, I need to get it ready.
like going from gray to white. And this was supposed to be white. little painter's tip. If you have any paint left over, I had just a little bit of white left in there and I need to do another coat. So we just put a wet t-shirt or some kind of wet fabric over it and that will keep it moist and keep it okay until you're ready to paint the second coat. Okay, Gary is putting some things back together again. He's got the, the handle in there. Yes. Uh. And it works. Oh, don't show my messy inside. That's the next project. I have some major cleaning to do in there and getting things ready. <laughs> awesome. Okay. It's a start. Yep. It's a finish. Something. I think the door turned out really good. There was a couple spots where there was some bugs or something and some scratches and things that I had to work on for a little bit and, and sand them down and got them smooth again. I was really happy how it turned out. Oh, okay, I gotta put the sunglasses back on. <laughs> okay. So we got it done in one day. Yay! Yay! <laughs> and tomorrow's supposed to get windy again, and Sunday's supposed to be windy, and then it's supposed to rain. So we got today was the only day we had to do it. I was so happy we got it done, and I can't wait till I can get my hair cut. Mm. I've been cutting Gary's, but. He can't do mine. Anyway. I could. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. If you have any uh, comments or anything like that, leave those down below. Remember to hit that red button down below. The red door should remind you. Subscribe and then hit the bell next to it to get notified every time new videos come up. You will not get notified unless you ring the bell and you have to subscribe first. And it doesn't cost anything. Remember our goal. We're trying to get to 500 subscribers by the end of June. Help us. Check out our Facebook page, Rosa Page. And until next time, God, God bless. bless.